powerful platform in Britain to celebrate outstanding young women. The finalists here today are going to shape the country's future. In times of a bit of economic downturn, when people are thinking about their budgets, we get a sellout this evening. And I think everyone is looking as to who's really going to excel, who's going to make a difference, and really make uh, the world a better place for everyone. We've brought a whole team from ASDA this evening, all under 35, all who are real stars for the future, to see just what can be achieved. Having been a finalist myself, I can absolutely vouch for, for the, the confidence boost it gives you. There's some wonderful stories, and I mean, one of the most difficult things in all these cases is, is, is picking winners. And to highlight those stories is not only um, a great encouragement for the young women themselves, but actually is a huge encouragement for the other young women who are thinking and struggling and wondering what they can do with their lives. Society is changing, the world is changing, and we need to bring uh, this diversity together and, and make that world more equal. Quite a few of the candidates have said to me that just being nominated has really helped them with either their business or their self-confidence or something and there's such a lovely atmosphere. I think it's a rather unique initiative that I haven't seen in other countries and I haven't seen anyone like Pinky uh, motivate women in such a phenomenal way. It's a phenomenal credit to Pinky. Pinky is irresistible and implacable and really determined and all credit to her. More power to Pinky. You sit amongst the most incredible women who've done the most incredible things. It just gives a boost to people who are already doing well and encourages them to do even better. I think this is a real celebration. It is my huge pleasure to welcome you tonight to these fourth Women of the Future Awards held in association with Shell. You will hear through this evening about their achievements, and some will receive special recognition. But really, they're all winners. So please welcome onto stage all of the shortlisted candidates for the 2009 Women of the Future Awards. Most great teams have a star player, and in ours, there is only one. We're so proud to work with her, and to have created these awards with her. So please welcome onto stage the chairman of the Women of the Future Awards, Pinky Lilani. Pinky. Tonight is first and foremost about celebrating an amazing group of women. You bring a fresh and distinctive style to your career paths, and it is a privilege to get to know you and hear your stories. Please welcome the leader of the Conservative Party, David Cameron. At the core, at the very core of what we believe is this, that everyone should have the chance to rise as high as their talent allows. That is what you are all about. That is what tonight is all about. Thank you for letting me share this time with you. And above all, congratulations to all those who have achieved so much. You are the role models for a brighter, better British future. Thank you. Your Royal Highnesses, Lords, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the presentation of the 2009 Women of the Future Awards. It's amazing to win this award. It was amazing to get it from Sherry Blair. That was actually quite a shock. I'm quite often ranked in sort of the top 50 or the top 100 rising stars, but to actually win something that is just you for business women of the future is actually quite surreal. So. This feels pretty good. It's absolutely tremendous, uh, a great surprise to me, uh, but what a fantastic honour. Um, I feel very proud of my team who've worked with me. And I think uh, recognition in what you're doing, especially if you're a woman in a man's environment, you know, I work on the Olympics, it's very much about construction. Um, so to get this award and to be recognised for what myself and my team have done is absolutely fantastic. That's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And I'm, I'm really hoping that it will mean we get a lot more interest in the kind of work that we're doing and perhaps we get a bit more sustainable funding. Perhaps a few of the people here who are obviously great mentors already would like to be mentors on our programme. It would be really great if we're able to expand the programme in a way that goes beyond the very enthusiastic and brilliant group of volunteers at the moment. I feel quite overwhelmed by it because there's so many fantastic people up there being shortlisted, but it just feels, feels incredible, I feel really proud, I feel really proud of what I've achieved and uh, 
what the team, you know, my team back at the office have helped me achieve. Just go out there, enjoy yourself, do your best and you can achieve great things. It feels incredible. Um, not only does it feel wonderful for myself, but it feels wonderful for the team that's now grown to a team of 30. These awards are important to win because when you don't spend any time with your family, your child, um, and you wonder why you're doing all of these things, tonight has made it all worthwhile um, and it's just been a fantastic evening. Well, I hope to be involved in the um, Ambassadors Programme and to inspire and encourage other young women to, to fulfil their, their potential. And I think that's what, what the Women of the Future Awards are about. I'm absolutely amazed and I'm so delighted. And um, Alexia and I are sharing this award and I know that she'll be absolutely thrilled as well. It's, it's like a recognition, but it's also a real boost to our confidence in working with people. There's so many amazing women in that category and it really is just amazing to be recognised. I think this is really going to affect my future. It's given me a platform as well to be a role model to other young women across all different sectors and I think it's something that I'm really proud of. It feels great to collect this Woman of the Future Corporate Award on behalf of Capgemini. We do an awful lot to try and attract and retain talent, uh, female talent in particular, and the recognition for the few things that we've been doing this year um, it feels tremendous and we're very grateful for the award. It's really exciting to win an award for something that you really enjoy doing. I think it almost feels like it's not worth winning an award for because it's so much fun for me. And when I see a lot of the people that I've mentored move on in their careers as well into really good things, it's, it's, it's a big heartwarming moment for me. The calibre of women in this room this evening was amazing, just exceptional. And so, which makes it even more of an honour for me to receive this award amongst such incredible, uh, an, an incredible room full of amazing women.